I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting baddies over here. Today's video, oh, speaking of baddies, right on time, let me put that on mute. <laughs> Today's video. I'm probably gonna have to explain myself after that. <laughs> I was doing the video in it. Psych, I ain't explaining nothing. Stop explaining yourself. Stop it. You're doing it right now. Bruh. I look at you, you over here. Mister, I gotta explain myself because if I don't explain myself, she gonna think something else and all these thoughts are gonna go through her head and if all these thoughts go through her head, she gonna leave me. But I explained very well because I took literature and I'm the only one in my family to get an A in English. So if I, if I express how I feel through my words, she'll understand because I'm poetic. I'm like Shakespeare. Bruh, look, you get in an argument with a girl, right? Somebody you talking to. Um, you know what, it, it doesn't even have to be an argument. Doesn't have to. You could literally just be confronted by her. Like, hey, so where were you last night? Um, well, first I went to, I went, I went to my friends. I told you I went to my friends because he was having a get together. It wasn't a party per se. It was just like people, drinks, music, DJ, dancing. I mean, it had similarities to a party, but I was not even partaking in that. There was, you know, other substances and stuff, but I, I wasn't, I'm, I'm just a human. That's all I am. So I was just being a human in a building and the building was hot, so I stepped outside. I wasn't even inside the majority of the time. You know, I don't like to be partaking in such things. I'm a man of God, you know? And I just feel like I had to leave and come home. So I left, I left, yeah, there was a girl, that was in the car, but that was because her Uber canceled. So she had to hop in my Uber because we were headed in the same direction. And then that direction happened to be her house. But I was just there because my Uber was like, yo, I don't want to take you back to your place because I got to go home to my lady because I'm faithful. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm just going to call another Uber from her spot. But then the Uber, it took like two hours. Sounds like you were cheating. Cheating? What? What do you... Yeah. You think I cheated? <laughs> Come on now. Obviously she gonna think you cheated after you explained all of that. Bruh, a lot of times you guys be doing too much, doing the most because you think that she's thinking the worst. So you wanna beat her to the punch. I understand where it's coming from. I understand the motives behind it, but there's no reason to do it. Always do less. Do less than you think you have to. Look, trust me, I've been there where I've been the one just spewing out everything I could think of to cover my behind because I felt like if I didn't, she was about to call me out on it. And then once she called me out on it, I'm gonna have to cover it up, right? No, even if she does call you out on it, you ain't gotta cover up nothing. You staying strong, bruh. She said, hey, where were you last night? Hey, I went to my homies, he had a party. Oh, so you going to a party. That's what we doing. Yeah, I just thought I'd stop by for a little bit. Just get out the house. Oh, get out the house. How come you didn't tell me that you was going to a party? Oh, that's my bad. I just forgot, honestly. All right, to be real with you, I thought you were going to trip. So I just figured I wouldn't tell you because it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm doing nothing crazy. I'm just going to hang out with the homie. Oh, you want to go hang out with your homie and not tell me about the party? Well, you can't do that. What if I just go out and did that and just didn't tell you? I mean, I hear where you're coming from, but can you tell me straight up that you wouldn't have tripped if I would have told you I was going to a party? How do you know what I would have done? Is you a psychic? Oh, you got powers now. That's what we know. Oh, Harry Potter over here want to tell me what I was going to do. Hey, man. <laughs> it's kind of fun when you see women like tripping out on you when you just chilling, when you just going back at them like, hey. And it's not like, like if you said what I just said, but you were angry or like raising your tone, it wouldn't have the same effect. So you could still say certain things, but it's all about how you say it, how you come across with it, right? But don't go overboard. Don't be like trying to explain. Don't be trying to prove your point. Just say your point, get to your point. Women are always going to have it in their mind, something that is probably not even the truth, probably, right? Like you could have went to the party. You coulda cheated. You coulda did all of that. Excuse me, hold on. 
Ah, Fiji sponsored me. But um, you could have did all of that. But how you react is always gonna determine how she reacts to you, okay? And once you've set this standard of, hey, I'm gonna play cool, calm, and collected, I'm gonna tell it how it is straight up and straight forward, after a while, she's gonna know confronting you or her comebacks ain't gonna be the same as in the beginning. Her comebacks ain't gonna be trying to get at you. She's just gonna be like, okay, so what you trying to do tonight? Like she gonna switch up. She gonna understand like, all right, well, there's not getting under his skin. There's not digging out more information. Like she trying to find some dirt. It's clean slate over here, baby. We play it clean at least. Yeah, eh? Ain't about about nothing. Clutch. She comes to you, hey, I talked to your friend about last night. So what do you have to say before I explain what he said to me? So you going behind my back and talking to my friends? You don't trust me? It's crazy. Oh, he's smart. He's smart. Okay. Winning with the women, huh? Winning with women. Okay, you won. Congratulations. I'll meet you in the bedroom. They go try the artist to be like, I'm, I'm going to be angry. But then they emotions and their body just takes over and they can't control it. It's uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. Yeah, bro. Um, don't like overly explain yourself. You can you can explain the basics, but don't do it to a point where it seems like you're proving to her that that she means the entire world to you. That's why you're pouring your heart out and giving this long explanation just so that she doesn't get upset and leave. Like if you don't care, you could just straight up tell her what it is, the real raw truth. Hey, yeah, oh, I went to the party last night. You hook up with somebody? Uh, I got a little too lit, I did low key. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna blow up, but hey, if you know how to play it cool, you know the right things to say and do, you can check her and things will be all right. I'm telling you. Like you gotta be, you gotta be on game level 1000. So keep studying, okay? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are liking these double uploads. If you are, please do me a favor. Just a little, just, a tiny little favor. Hit the thumbs up button down below. Let me know. Also down below, download Winning With Women. And um, until tomorrow, focus on you and the women will too. I know some booties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas. 